In this video, we're going to talk about the basics on how to read and entering the periodic table and what all these numbers mean. The first thing to notice is the symbol in the center. This symbol tells you what element you're talking about. In this case, so symbol. In this case, we're talking about carbons. And a lot of these you have to, rec to memorize. A lot of them are easy. C, carbon, easy to memorize, obviously. If you're in Regents Chemistry, you've got a chart on your table in your reference table that will tell you the names for each of the symbols. Uh, otherwise, just with experience and time, you'll learn them and they'll become second nature to you. Okay, so it's carbon. First, second thing to notice, probably the second most important thing, and it's actually related to the symbol, is this piece right here. And this is what we call our atomic number. What is the atomic number? Well, in other words, it's the number of the protons in the nucleus. So in this case for carbon, it's 6. And it's these two things. This 6 essentially identifies it as C. It's this 6, it's this atomic number, the number of protons, that pretty much d differentiates between elements uh, to a very large extent. The next thing, this third most important thing to look at is up here. This is the atomic weight. Now you'll note in many reference tables it'll be some kind of decimal. The reason for it is relatively complex. Essentially it's the sum of all the isotopes in a weighted average. Uh, that may not mean anything to you, but basically the point is, is that there's a decimal. So what you normally do for most cases, and you'll see this often, is you round up or down to get what's called the mass number. So you'll often see, for instance, carbon written like this. C, 12, 6. So this is our atomic number, 6. This 12 is what's called the mass number, which essentially, which we'll talk about in a later video, is the sum of the protons and the neutrons in the nucleus. But uh, we'll get beyond that for now. For now, just know this is the weight. This is how heavy that atom is. Okay, next thing is going to be this. This is the electron configuration. It's essentially how the electrons are arranged in the shells around the nucleus. We won't talk much more about this. We'll talk about it in later videos. And finally, these are oxidation states. And they're, these generally here are the most common oxidation states, with the top being the most common and the, and the and it gets more rare as you go down the list here. Basically, this is going to be important for bonding, especially ionic bonding, and even for covalent, but mostly for ionic bonding. Uh, and we'll talk about this more when we talk about the bonding unit. So that's how you read a periodic table.